Ready? Go find it. down. Oh, Leo got a little scratch on his nose. Yes. Oh, no. Back here. Down. Down. You. Down. Oh. Uh -uh. Down. Yes. You got it. You got it. You got it. Ready? Go find it. Yeah. Good buddy. Down. Yes. Good job. Go find it. Down. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. down. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Down. Yes. Okay. little bit of what we call capturing. Capturing is when the dog is already going to do something and we add a word to it. So I'm tossing this toy. I'm pretty confident I know that Leo is going to come back and get on his bed and lie down with his toy. So all I'm doing is adding the word down as he's doing that. And that can be a really powerful way to train as well. He's definitely more interested in his toys than his treats. So um, the one way that I could build some value for food is to do a little bit, bit of uh, 
maybe even once a day, just do some hand feeding. That can make them a little bit more in tune to want to eat down. So there's another version of capturing. I just watched to see that he was about to do the behavior and then I added a word, okay? All right, so it may be a little bit hard for us to work on the uh, place cue right now because he's kind of tired. Hey, go get it. Ready, go find it. Good job, good job. Try to get him all the way on here before I use my marker word. Hey, all the way on. Yes. And then I'm gonna lure him into it down this time. Yes. Good. Oh, what, did, what was that? I didn't even release you. Go to your bed. Down. that I also don't repeat. I try not to repeat my cues ever, and I try to give the puppy time to think. Okay, It's not helpful for you to keep saying stuff. Um, if it's taking them a little while to figure stuff out, don't worry about that. We'll worry about the speed part later. Okay, good job, buddy. Ready? Go find it. So I haven't had a leash attached to the other dogs, but I wanted to show you because um, because Leo is demonstrating his front clip harness. So when I have my leash attached to my puppy and I'm practicing this, I have my leash and all my extra treats in my right hand. That seems a lot, very counterintuitive to a lot of people. A lot of people want to hold the leash um, in the hand closest to the dog. But this allows me when I'm practicing and when I'm walking to utilize that hand that is closest to the dog so that I can put my treat on my hip and come straight down my pant leg. When I start walking, if I need to, I can do a two-handed leash thing like this. Let's go. Okay, so you can see how, let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's go. I can kind of guide him to my side. Very nice. And keep him next to me and then I can grab a treat when I need to. Let's go. Worn this, so it's gonna be. Bup, bup, bup. Hey, uh, uh, right here. It's also it's really hard because there's <laughs> there's treats on the ground here, so that's not helpful for me. Yes, good job. This behavior uh, of reward zone, fun zone, stay close to me, give me eye contact. So those are great skills for you guys to practice over the next couple of days, uh, and we'll see you next week. Good job, Neil. Oh, can't you?